Hi, I'm Daniel. I work for Liebe Liebe in Austria and uh, I also presented something last year about what our work for OpenMB when it comes to diffing MMS. Uh, this year our focus on the development and research was in a different direction. Uh, we have customers that feel that it's not where the best way on the planet to use a proprietary model source in between and they want to replace uh, Teamwork Cloud uh, with Git. And this is what we have been working on in the last year very heavily. So the purpose or the problem is, is the same as always for us. Uh, MBSE needs advanced configuration management. I think this is very obvious. There's different ways how to do it. We heard some, some solutions already with Mark. And uh, from our customer base, typically, typically they want to uh, use established processes from software engineering like Git processes also in the in the MBC space. No usable commercial solution for SysML data is obviously not exactly true because we have a solution, but when we started, there was nothing available. So this is what people really want to do today when they work agile. They want to do something close to this Git flow process, which basically means you have always a master. Okay, master, it's called main now. Uh, I typically get the comment if I have it wrong. Um, and develop. And whenever you develop new capabilities, you make feature branches and then decide when it is a good time to move a feature branch back into develop. You can have review branches and when the reviews are done, uh, you can do a release. This is very common in software and we have several thousand users that are doing this with models already uh, with Enterprise Architect. So we thought it might be a good idea uh, to enable the same capability uh, for OpenMB uh, users. So our objective is, is the long-term parallel development of versions, enhance the modeling process in the day-to-day -day work and to reuse existing tools because many of our um, clients have some norms to fulfill. And if they have a backend or version control system that the auditors know already because of software, their work typically is a lot easier. So I say Git a lot, but we also have people that use tools like PTC Lifecycle Manager or IBM RTC or Subversion to manage their models. But um, obviously when I talk about it, it's typically Git. And again, these norms is really important. We have loads of customers in the automotive industry that need to manage their models in version control systems because of the ISO 2622 or how they interpret it. You know, Obviously the norm has a bit more freedom, but uh, the easiest way to fulfill the requirements is uh, if you have all your development artifacts in a version control system that your auditor already knows. The history of our development, this is also a carryover slide. I keep it in there for your information, but basically the first projects with TOV in this direction started around 2005. And we have a commercial product since 2016. But the commercial product that we have is only working for the for enterprise architect and now we have an additional capability that i will show you in a second uh, what you can try out if you want to get the feel for lemon tree in the open mb world i put the public lemon tree licensed uh, version on a kubernetes cluster uh, that you can test and connect to the public open MB uh, to look at diffs of various branches in the open MB public data. If you have a login that is not the guest login, you will see all your data and you feel free to compare, feel free to give us inputs. It's not yet perfect, but it's becoming better and better. So, and um, uh, you are all invited to test it today. So this is lemon tree running on a web server, but this is not the typical scenario for people that want to work with a version control system. So what we, what we try to build now is 
that we have these capabilities uh, to work with Git flow, with optimistic version control, uh, with models that have been saved by MDK in a way that uh, whenever you merge into develop, OpenMB MMS can pick up uh, the, the JSON and integrate it in an MMS backend. So when I say we want to have the model data in Git, this doesn't mean there is no way it will end up in MMS. But the big advantage is we don't have any, not all the feature branches anymore in, in MMS, but only the develop is updated uh, once uh, feature branches went through, or you could do it also on the main or master branch uh, that you do this automat automatic update of the OpenMB MMS. Here is a architecture picture. I know I have to talk rather fast today, but we only got 15 minutes. So the idea is that on your modeling client, your OpenMB MDK saves a file. We call it MDK model file. Uh, you check in your MD zip and your MDK model file into Git. When you have a conflict or you want to diff, you can use the MDK model file and lemon tree to do git uh, uh, conflict resolution or uh, do diffs. Uh, you push it on a GitHub server, and then you can run uh, build server, CI, DevOps, um, Jenkins style stuff on the data in Git. And um, one of the things you can do when you run these build steps, you can do some validations using inquiry technology, or you can push it into OpenMB for the web access capability and so on. So this is the whole idea uh, why, why we built these technologies now. Yeah. So how, how, how the solution works that we currently built is we have a, a patched MDK in, in Cameo uh, that always saves the MDK model file into the same uh, directory uh, that the MDZip resides. And we use this MDK model file to resolve conflicts and to do further stuff in the, in the, in the DevOps pipeline, uh, should we want to do so to move the data further or validate it and so on. And we have a lemon tree that can diff and merge these MDK model files and create MDK batch files that later on uh, the MDK can use to update the MD zip uh, with the merge with the require with the merge that the user wanted to do. So this is basically what we built. And those that know me know me uh, that there will always be a demo when I'm around. So what I have here is my preferred Git client, Smart Git. I have two branches, uh, the OpenMB1 and OpenMB2 branch. I select them. And here is this MDK simple MDK model. And I can double click on it. And it will open up. OK, just checking on time. It will open up and we will see the differences that happened. And in this case, it's already interesting. There is a conflict because uh, uh, the, the name of the same element was changed. And because Lemon Tree has this three way diff capability uh, that you can see here, it's a real three way diff. Uh, we can detect conflicting changes. If you do a two way, uh, it depends which file you load first, if it's a deletion or a new element. And when you do a proper three-way diff, you have this capability to really detect changes that are conflicting. And now we close this one. And now we go to the Cameo and we can uh, do some more change here. For example, we change this to Daniel and we can delete something like this one and we save it again. And every time I save, when I go to my directory, you can see there is this open MPE file that we saved and the MDK tip. And it's interestingly empty at the moment, but 
Ah, it's not empty. And another nice thing that happened to us while we were at it, uh, we can now double click this MDK model file and Lemon Tree will open it up as a simple local model browser. I know it's not the most exciting feature in the planet, but typically there is use cases for features like that. And it just happened to us that you can now look at all your model elements in a proper way uh, with the Lemon Tree engine in a single view, view mode. And when when we are done with the merge, which we cannot show because we don't have a lot of time left, uh, you then go here and say patch the model with a patch file. Okay. And this patch file is created by Lemon Tree, and then you can update your MD zip uh, with the merge results from the Lemon Tree merge. Uh, for the near future, we already have a prototype where this will be done automatically without user interaction but I think it helps to understand the process. So the process is Lemon Tree does a merge and maybe we start looking at it at least. So I can go here and say git flow, uh, finish feature, and hopefully we will have a conflict. And then, <laughs> importing, okay. Mm. Okay, there's some changes. Commit. Okay. Now we say git flow finish feature. Takes a little bit. but mark, ah, oh, there was no conflict, so it could merge automatically. But if there is a conflict, Lemon Tree will show up and you will be able uh, to resolve the conflict on the MDK model file and then bring it back to the MD zip file. And because we are running already a little bit hot. I have... you, you still have a couple of minutes, don't worry. Okay. So then if we have a couple of minutes, we make a conflict because it's much funnier this way. So I develop, we change A. I save it again. Now I do something that you never should do. We will directly commit and push into develop. Don't do this. And, and we will finish the second uh, feature branch I prepared. No? Switch to branch. Check out. And we finish this one. And now we hopefully should have a conflict now we have a conflict and to resolve the conflict i simply double click on the mdk model file and i can uh, for example look at this open mbe at the A, which was a conflicting change, and I can decide uh, which of the elements I want to bring into the merged model, which is on the right side. I can bring in this one. I can decide which connectors I want to keep. I can decide which elements I want to keep. So I have all this capability. And as you can see, it's again a three-way because it has conflicts and it has a proper detection that this element is not new but it was deleted in my version. And this is the kinds of things you can only do when you have a proper three-way. Once I'm finished, I will click on start merge and it will write an MDK patch file and a new MDK zip file. And this is exactly what you need to do uh, to resolve the conflict in Cameo. Because in Cameo, the process now 
one second. I know there is a problem with deletions, so this will not work yet, but I can show you to finish it up how it will work. So I now navigate to the directory with the MDK patch file and I can update the MDZIP uh, with a proper, uh, with the changes that we decided to do. Uh, MDK, lemon repair. So now the patch file has been applied and all the changes have been done. What you can see here, uh, that at the moment we do not support any diagram conflict resolution or so on, uh, but the elements are all here and the relationships that I choose to bring in uh, are here. So it's focused on the model at the moment. The diagrams is one of the next steps we're gonna handle. So back to the slides. So summary outlook is we will further work in this direction to make this uh, as good of a commercial product as our uh, lemon tree for enterprise architect is. Uh, we work on Git support for more modeling tools based on the MDK technology at the moment. It's, it's Cameo. What's very interesting that at the side, can you not see my screen? I can. Okay because this thing said people cannot see my screen. Okay. We, we can see it. Okay. So uh, what we will do next is that the, what happened to us in the while we built it, that we now also have the technology to build an MDK for enterprise architect, should somebody want this. And we can and we work more in this automatic publish to MMS via Git flow processes and so on, because we think this is very interesting. And generally, I feel all of this uh, Git and central web as web uh, friendly uh, repo is best of both worlds. If you only have one, you miss some of the of the version control features. And but if you combine them both you really get the best. And what I like very best about the combination with version control and central repositories is uh, that you only have um, defined state in the in the widely viewed model, like uh, develop or main, uh, however you define it, but not every feature branch, not every idea that your systems engineers try will be available in the in the big repository, in the public repository. So you get more control and people are less shy to try out new stuff and so on. Okay, that's basically it from me. It was a rush, and, and good, very good. We have we have thirty seconds for one question. <laughs> yeah, it's Thank a rough topic you. for fifteen plus five. Uh, any any question from anyone? There's one in the chat. There's one in the chat. No, just see. five minutes left. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so any basic. Yeah, the executive summary, this might be a way to get rid of Teamwork Cloud should you want to do so. <laughs> what was the, the, maybe you can briefly answer is, did you see any gaps in, in the current MMS implementation that would have made your life easier? Or I see, any, I see. anything in that direction? If we grab data from the public server, we are not always sure which, which, which if it was written with an early version of MDK or not. And if the funny things we find up by design or by error. So it would yeah. be super helpful if the public repository would be rewritten with the latest MDK. So you have a good baseline for third party developers when we look at things like the cookbook or the TMT. I see. Okay, cool. Okay, and, thank you. And then. obviously a good strategy how we handle diagrams going down the road. Right. Okay, thank you, Daniel. Thank you very much.